For a half century, the iconic Gateway Arch, adjacent to the mighty Mississippi River in St. Louis, Missouri, has symbolized the historical expansion of the Western United States. Visitors can brave a journey to the top of the arch and witness magnificent views. Yet, it's the journey beneath the arch, even underground, that's garnering renewed attention. With years of redesign and renovation completed, the Gateway Arch Museum is now reopened. We're very, very excited about our new museum experience that is something that people will enjoy on a lot of different levels. The museum celebrates the story of St. Louis, from colonial days to the building of the Gateway Arch, and includes the largely untold narrative of the welcoming of members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in this city in the mid-1800s, during a time when most others drove them away. Most of what I had known about the Mormon faith and Missouri was very negative. You know, it was the idea of the extermination order and Lilburn Boggs and all of that. And then I start to learn that, well, no, that wasn't the case here in the eastern part of the state. And that in St. Louis, they become a vibrant part of the community and there's no negative publicity about them. So here we are on the Mormon Trail, the Mississippi River, a part where many thousand, 22,000 Mormons traveled on their way to Utah. Immigrants arrived here at this spot. They would change steamboats and stay for hours, some for months, others for years, enjoying the sanctuary of the city of St. Louis. So you think you're welcome. As plans for the new museum developed, Bob and Tom developed an important friendship which brought the Mormon story to life and to the exhibit. Bob said, this is what we're looking for. We're going to redo the museum, and I want to tell the story of people who have been left out. In 1849, a local paper noted there were three to 4,000 Mormons from Britain in the city. They rented a vacant Methodist church and they went to church there in 1857. The various exhibits weave a tapestry of the Latter-day Saint presence in St. Louis, along with displays of valued artifacts. There was the thought that we would have very large screens as people enter the museum and that there would be, you know, spectacular scenes of the American West. And Tom came along and said, I can talk to the, the church, we have our own uh, filmmaking uh, apparatus, and we never would have been able to get the number of uh, extras that we had, the number of wagons. It just worked out so well. As a St. Louis and I'm happy finally to have the Mormon story told and the importance of St. Louis. For Latter-day Saints, the museum and the arch will long represent their heritage in St. Louis, their protection against persecution and recognition of religious freedom, the goodness of a city and its people who gave them refuge. <laughs>